It's too early for this. Oh, let's see if we can get this to focus. We did not want it to focus today. There it is. It's almost six o'clock in the morning, and I'm out here in an empty parking lot. Well, pretty much empty, other than our trucks over here. But we are going to go and get this day started, starting the truck, warming it up, doing a pre-trip, and going and hauling lovely salt. Not a big fan of hauling salt. You guys will learn that real quick with me. Uh, it doesn't pay much, and um, Unfortunately, it doesn't pay a business owner even enough to pay me an hourly wage. So I get paid per load for salt, which I'm not a fan of. But it, summertime makes up for it when we do asphalt. So, all right, six o'clock now. I'm gonna go fire up this truck, call into dispatch, get our job number for the day. A few moments later. I turn this bad boy over and uh, I get my key in the door. Apparently, my truck don't want me to go to work today. But yeah, this is the inside of my truck. I try to keep there. As clean as possible since I'm in it 10 to 12 hours a day. It's my little office, as I call it. But uh, it's 2021 Peterbilt 567. In Iowa, all five of the listed states have a positivity rate of 15% or higher. And anyone uh, entering Ohio from any of those states is asked. Guys, I just got done putting in. Let's see if I can get it here. One hundred dollars, and it only gave me a little over half tank. But uh, yeah, so we are off. We got our dispatch order. About to start this day. Got my uh, Dunkin' Donuts coffee here. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Hope you guys have a good day as well. Alright guys, so we're finally getting back here, about to get loaded. The guy over here is getting loaded now. This is a big stockpile in our area of salt. And uh, we're going to get loaded here and head on out. There he goes. He's going to head on up there to the scale. Head on out and uh, deliver our load. But... Uh, Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, basically the idea of um, trucking, you know, dump trucking, or any type of trucking, is you basically got to know how much you weigh in order to be out on the road. Um, so when we get here to get loaded, we get on a scale coming inbound, which I can show you guys all that. Hey, there's my CB. 
uh, channel 13 here that was random but yeah so you know you get loaded uh, after you come in and get on the scale that tells you and the people that you're about to get loaded from how much you weigh already empty that way they know how much they can put on you um, I myself am going to be getting 21 tons of salt there goes the next truck here getting loaded 21 tons of salt, uh, and that's basically, you know, for one ton, is 2,000 pounds. You know, you can Google that uh, if you didn't know that, but one ton is 2,000 pounds. So figure out how much 21 tons would be. Um, like 42,000 pounds on top of what the truck already weighs, which this truck's like... 30,000 and some odd, like 30,500, something like that. And this guy over here is getting loaded. You can't really see because of my mirror. But, oh, yeah, all that salt, all the goodies. So, yeah, we're going to get loaded, guys. We'll get out of here and start our day. We've got more trucks coming up here behind us down the long road. So, all right, guys, we will be back with you here shortly to show you some more of the day. Two hours later. All right, just got loaded, heading on out of here to uh, get weighed out on the scale. As you can see, way up there, there's some trucks up there. Waiting in line, there's about four trucks ahead of me. This truck is passing me, he's going to get loaded. Yeah, so once we get up here, um, they're basically doing an inbound truck, an outbound truck, an inbound truck, an outbound truck. That way they can get trucks in and out of here. So right now there's an outbound truck on there. So next somebody will be coming inbound with a lightweight to get loaded. Then another outbound truck will go out. So we got probably uh, about 10 minutes of sitting here. Uh, so in the meantime, I'm going to get my paperwork together, uh, which I'll show you that here once we get up here and stop, and then we'll be back with uh, getting on the scale and stuff, how all that works, so park this bad boy here, and I'll show you this ticket book here we got to fill out. So once we get the ticket... front axle, temperature gauge, you got your pusher axles, rear axles, and of course you got your other gauges over here, your coolant, your, your depth fluid, your fuel, both air tanks, one, two, oil pressure, sorry I didn't mean to flip you off there. Uh, but anyway, coming down here to this, we've got uh, a ticket book here. Uh, basically, you just put your date, your name, or your assigned driver number, truck number, who you're working for, the address of where you're delivering to. Or I'm sorry, your who your uh, the customers who you're delivering to, their address. PO number, which is the job number you gotta say when you're getting on the scale coming in. What material you'll ha you're hauling? Which uh, for these guys in particular who we work for, uh, we do salt, we do stone, we do uh, asphalt, we do it all. So material for today would be salt. The size is basically how many tons you are. So I'll be probably 21 something. The ticket number is what you get uh, from the scale house up here. And then uh, here comes another truck passing by. It's just going to be a little loud. And basically you put your gross weight, your tear weight, your net weight. Uh, I don't put nothing here because I don't get paid by the hour for this. I get paid by the load. 
put your specified truck tight. This truck is a six axle, so I would check a six axle off here. Uh, basically what you did, did you pile it, did you dump it? Um, we just always pretty much do dumping. We don't ever really use a pile, pilotizer or anything. Uh, where it's shipped from, and then when you get there, they sign this, and you give them all their copies of uh, their tickets or some copies. Or everybody's got to have a copy. Everybody and their mom gets a copy. Let me, let, let me tell you that right now. We get a copy, they get a copy, they get six more copies, we get three more copies of the same tickets over and over and over again. Uh, so there's a lot of paperwork to keep on hand when delivering salt. Not so much uh, with asphalt, basically one sheet type deal because you're on an hourly job, but stone and salt for sure. But, uh, yeah, as you guys see in this morning, we got in the truck at 6 o'clock. I had to go get some fuel, which we got $100 worth today, and that only put me just above half, which we're still sitting at. But, uh, yeah, 6 o'clock, and it's already 8.05, and I haven't even delivered one load. So, all right, guys, I know you're tired of looking at my gauges and stuff, but this camera is not the greatest. So I'm trying to do my best and give you guys the best quality uh, shots here. Definitely going to be upgrading the camera for you. And if you can't tell, it's also pouring snow here. So, anyway, waiting in line here to get on the scale. Uh, we'll hit hit you back here shortly once we get out of here and deliver this load. Steve's truck 420. Got a pretty big order for going to here? Yeah, about five or Alright, thanks a lot. Have a good one.
Ticket number somewhere on here, but this thing is hard to read actually. Really light. But uh, we're sitting at about 77,000 pounds. Let's see if I can show a better view here. Seventy-seven thousand pounds. So we're gonna fill out our ticket here, guys, and be out on the road. Get this dang load delivered so we can get back here for some more loads but uh all right guys Later. Eventually, 